My name is Abby Mansalillo from PCTV, and I am here interviewing Abby Scott, who is a member of the Providence College Women in Business Club, and also works with the company Brand Girls. Abby, thank you so much for coming to talk to us. Yeah, of course, I'm happy to be here. So, Abby, I just wanted to get a little bit of a sense of you, where you're from, your major here at Providence College, before we really start talking about Brand Girls. Yeah, absolutely. So, I am a junior here at Providence College. I'm a marketing major, and I'm the co-president of Providence College Women in Business. Great, thank you so much. And where are you from? I'm from Gloucester, Massachusetts. Oh, not too far. Yeah, no, not at all. <laughs> so what made you choose Providence College? Obviously, there are a lot of schools for business, but why Why here? Um, I toured a lot of schools. I applied to 13, but I saw Providence actually for the first time with a couple friends who had siblings who went here. And after I visited Providence, other schools I visited did not compare to Providence College's campus, between the community, um, just the atmosphere of how nice everyone is. The professors are always so welcome and smiling. And so I just, nothing compared to Providence. I tend to hear that a lot. Nothing really compares to Providence. Mm -hmm. um, so I met Abby last night um, where she had a Providence College Women in Business event um, with Brand Girls. And you told me that you have a little bit of a history with, with PCTV. Can you tell me a little bit about that? So for the past two years, I've um, worked with Providence College Television. And then I actually got an ambassador position for the Brand Girls as well as running co-president of Providence College Women in Business. So I had great experience with Providence College Television, and I do miss it a lot. That's awesome. So tell me a little bit about Providence College Women in Business, because, you know, I've heard a lot about this club. A lot of girls are a part of it. It's a pretty, it's pretty big um, standing here at Providence. But what exactly does it do? What's its, what's its stance here on campus? Yeah. So it's actually um, only three years old now. Um, a couple of seniors from two years ago started the club. And um, ever since then, I've been co-president with my co-president, Julia Hausman, who's a senior now. Um, so we've kind of like taken over with our exec role and um, we have about eight executive members for PC Women in Business. And basically what we do is we have people from the Career Center come in and give us um, LinkedIn seminars, workshops about resumes, things like that. And we also have um, female alumni come in and talk about um, their experience at Providence and now where they are today in the business world. And we also have um, CEOs of big companies or really any position come in and talk about their experiences starting a company or just basically how their success story has um, began. And we have about 150 um, female members of Providence College Women in Business now. So. That's awesome. So as yeah. co-president, tell me a little bit about um, your responsibility. Obviously 150, that's, that's a lot of girls. That's yeah. definitely more than I can handle. Yeah. Um, so tell me about that. Well, um, thank God we have our exec board because everyone is always helping. Um, everyone has a different role. But as co-president, um, I basically foresee like the future events that we have and make sure everything goes planned. Um, you know, a lot of emailing goes on behind the scenes of trying to get events together, and it's a lot of work with that. Um, also being in contact with the school, making sure that different things are allowed through Providence as well as through um, different speakers who come, and then getting things going with the Career Center and just you know organizing speakers and events is kind of a lot of work, but yeah, we get it done. That sounds so much fun. Mm -hmm. So you mentioned CEOs of big companies, yes. and I know we discussed brand girls. So mm -hmm. what exactly is that? Because I didn't know when you first started telling me about it. Yeah, so I'll tell you a little bit of the history of the brand girls. So um, last year, actually, I was also the co-president of Women in Business, and I was introduced to um, Rachel Bosick, who is the CEO and founder of the brand girls. And she came last year to Providence to speak about her company. And basically what she does and her um, all of her other members of her company, they basically help women create a brand about themselves and help them land their dream job. So um, it was a perfect fit for Rachel to come last year and speak to women in business because she talks about women empowerment and how to be confident in the business world and exactly how to land your dream job and what specifically you want to go for, tying with your major and um, other interests that you have. So last year I was able to sit in the audience um, when Rachel spoke and then this year we had Rachel come back and she gave an amazing, super inspirational talk about what the Brand Girls is doing this year and um, hopefully recruiting some girls to possibly be part of the Brand Girls. And Rachel gives different um, Skype sessions and coffee hours with people and helps them basically gather thoughts about what they want to do, create um, a brand mission statement about them and basically differentiates you from anyone else who's in your major or your interest going for different internships and job opportunities. That's awesome. I know a lot of girls around campus definitely really need that. Yeah, absolutely. Um, with a lot of business majors. So how did you find Brand Girls? Kind of how did you get into that family, which it sounds to be? Yeah, so um, last year I was actually emailed by a fellow um, Providence College student whose sister works for the Brand Girls. And so she emailed me and was like, hey, I heard about um, PC Women in Business, and I thought Rachel Bosick could come and speak to your club. 
about um, her company and everything. So I was like, oh, perfect. So Rachel came last year. And because I was between the interests of marketing and business, as well as possibly doing TV broadcasting, I wasn't really sure how to combine these two interests. So when Rachel talked to all of us, um, I was really inspired after her speech. And I was like, oh my gosh, you know, this is exactly what I need. I need someone to help guide me and figure out exactly what I want to do to tie my interests together. So I signed up for the Brand Girls and they helped me through different sessions, um, figure out exactly the path I wanted to go on, figure out my resume, update it, my LinkedIn, um, do a lot of networking ideas, and it was super, super helpful. That's so much fun. So um, obviously we mentioned that Providence College Women in Business is a really big group, but um, if other women who may not be a part of the group are interested in becoming you know, a part of this amazing organization, mm -hmm. who should they contact, what should they do? Like, What are their first steps? Yeah, so um, honestly, we accept anyone any Providence College female student who wants to be part of um, PC Women in Business. It does not have to be just a business major. We invite all majors to come because they're super insightful um, speeches and lessons about LinkedIn and resumes that anyone with any major can benefit from. So any majors, um, welcome. And if you want to contact me, my email is ascott5 at friars.providence.edu. And I'd be more than happy to add you to our email list. We could be part of a bunch of different sessions and yeah. Great. Thank you so much, Abby. We really appreciate you coming to talk to us. Again, my name is Abby Mansillo from PCTV. Thank you so much. Thank you.